How you doing, Ashley? Hey. I'm good, I'm good, thanks. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. Um, thank you very much for taking your time out to have a chat. That's all right, that's all right. If I have an hour, we might never get it done. Yeah, I know, mate, I know. I've been planning it for quite a while, haven't we? Yeah, it's been a while. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. now. How's things with you anyway? Everything cool? Everything's great. Everything's great. Um, Getting ready for my next fight, just training. Yeah, just can't complain. Um, just getting back to the start, just to give sort of everybody an insight. Um, how did you first get involved uh, in boxing as a youngster? Uh, my father was a boxing fan, and um, he used to um, stay up late to um, watch the big fights in America, Mike Tyson. Well, Mike Tyson, he comes to mind because those were the fights. Yeah. And um, he allowed me, like, he used to wake me up at 2, 3 a.m. to watch the fights. And then um, just through that, I got into the sport. I wanted to try it out, so... um. When I was eight years old, my um, parents allowed me to go to All Stars Boxing Club, and then you know my love affair with um with um the sport began. Yeah, uh-huh. so, no, so I one of the never look back moments. Yeah, yeah, because you know my mum hoped that you know I would I wouldn't like it and then I would stop, but I had fun and then you know I, like I was always in the gym. I was doing yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, what what about your amateur career? Did you have any trade moments as an amateur? No, I didn't. I didn't really do much as an amateur. I had like fifty fights with forty wins. Yeah, I always, I always came up short. I lost to Lee Beavis, who went on to win it. Um, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't do much as an amateur. I fought. I fought some good fighters. I just. I didn't win. I didn't win the fights. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, you've been. And quite a lot of good fights over in the, the States. Um, did you feel kind of hard done by um, losing to Pablo Cesar Cano? Um, no, I, 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 I am believed. I believe he won. I just, um, I believe he won. I, yeah, I just. I, it was just a hard fight to go into. Like, not being, I think, the last time I was on the world scene was 2010, when yes. I beat um, Delvin Rodriguez, who who was world number three at the time. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then this is three years gone by where, you know, I've, I've been British champion. It's, it's a lower level. Yeah. And um, it was just, it was just, a, it was just, a, it was just a big jump. So it was just a big jump. And um, I started off slow. And then I, I, you know, I, I couldn't catch up in time. You know, I uh-huh. couldn't catch. So um, it was a fight. You know, it was a split decision loss, but you know, uh, yeah, I think he done enough to win. Uh, you, you racked up um, a good amount of wins after that, um, and you came up against Adrian Broner um, the last time out. Um, what's what's the plans for after? Are you hoping to kind of get another world title shot sooner rather than later? Um, when do, I'm, I'm not really bothered when the World Title shot comes. It, it will come. It will. It will come because it's Floyd it's Mayweather says he's gonna do um something for you. He's gonna do it. So um, yeah, I'm not really bothered. Like uh, my uh, my advisor, he wanted to try to get Burns for this next fight. Yeah. But couldn't because he had his mandatory. So um, you know, but I'm seeing that Rona wants. Um, burn, burn, burns next as well. So uh-huh. I might have to wait for the winner of that. So when you're with Floyd Mayweather, when he wants to get you the world title shot, you will get it. So yeah. you know uh-huh. they've told me just to win the fights in between, and when it can be done, it will yeah. be done. So um, yeah, I'm not really bothered. I'll be fighting in October, and then we, you know, we move on from there. Uh-huh. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you: um, How did it all come about that you you started going over to Floyd's gym and getting involved over there? Um, well, basically, since 2005, I was going over to New York to Beeson's gym, and you know, I I've, I've done pretty well over there. Where I had fights with Marcus Corley, with um, Danny Garcia, with Delvin Rodriguez. I became British champion that time as well. 
And then um, this one camp, I was just there, and I just wanted to change because I had an eight-week camp. Uh-huh. And so I just went over, I saw saw that Floyd was in camp around the cuttle fight. So I, I just, um, yeah, just thought, just go over there for two weeks, get some sparring, and then watch him like, when I'm done. And that's exactly what I done. I went over there. And um, the first day he he um, stopped me, asked me who I was. I said I was I was the British champion. Well, I saw my record. I think I was something like something like thirty three and three or thirty three and four, something like that. Yeah. But um, but yeah. So he asked me for my rare, my rare, my record. And I gave it to him. And then um, I was there for two weeks. He was cool with me. So um. You know, I left after two weeks, wish everything good, luck on his fight. And then uh, a year a year went by, I was I was no longer British champ. And then I was thinking about my next move. Um, no um, promoter in the UK would give me an opportunity. So, yeah, Warren, Hearn, Nick Hennessy, I called it those guys, they wouldn't give me a fight so um, yes. I was like um, I'm gonna go back to the States and then I just seen E Shay Smith win his world his world title like he was like I'm thirty five years old or something like that. Uh-huh. I was like, oh if he's done it then I can do it too because yeah. he had like kind of the same kind of call. And then so I flew back to Vegas and then the first day we saw he swore me there again he was like oh the London guy's back and then um, that was for the Guerrero camp, so I was um, just training in the gym, sparring with a, a lot of names. I was doing very well. Then I used to go out running with Floyd, and then he was just like he would like to help me with my um, career and get me the big fight. Yeah. And then that was it. I was signing. Mm-hmm. I was signing to Mayweather Promotions. How's yeah. how's it how's it for you over there training with like that? You see Smith and Floyd. Is that really something that you wouldn't have thought was was kind of possible when you started out. I think all boxers never like never know. Well, being British as well, you're never gonna think that you're gonna train with the Americans. You watch them on the TV, uh, so you're never really gonna think I'm gonna be in the same gym as them. One, yeah. um, I think it goes it goes for everybody. But um, you know, when I was going to New York, I was around great champions there. You know, um, there was. Um, like one Guzman, I got, I got him um, to spar with him. I got to spar with poor, with poor Lee with Elio Rojas, like um Luis Collado. So in New York, yeah. I was sparring with a lot of great boxers there. So when I went to um to Vegas, it was just more of the same thing because I was used to being around good fighters in like New York. It was just another thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it was just it was business as usual. And um, so yeah, be like being a, like knowing Floyd. It's not even being like being signed to Floyd is cool. No, knowing him is, is great. You know, there's very few people who who um know the man um who who are part of the team, and there's very few Brits that know him on a a, a close basis as well. So um. Yeah, it's been it's been it's been a great great ride. I've known him now for four four and a half half years. So um yeah, it's been great. Yeah, and you're you're and good friends with EJ Smith and and Andy the gym, aren't you? Yeah, I'm Baggy Jack and Jack Jack as well. That all so my two my closest um friends over there. Yeah, my 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 partner she actually had a bit yeah a soft crush in EJ Smith. <laughs> oh yeah! Uh, <laughs> ah, that's funny. Oh my god. We 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 actually we actually met because of Ishe because um, Ishe was well, he had one mutual friend with me and that was my current partner and we, we actually okay. got we, we got speaking through him so. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's crazy. I know. I know. Okay. She's always she's always, she's always she's always asking me to interview Ishe, but I can't. I've never been able to get a hold of him. Or is it? Uh, yeah, he he don't really answer his messages and stuff. No, I've sent him quite a few, and they've not been like, opened or seen or anything like that. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what um, on your Facebook? 
Yeah, I've known his Facebook. Yeah, he's not really been open his messages or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, he doesn't so. read them. He, yeah, he said he doesn't read his messages. So yeah. yeah, you would have to maybe send a message to Mayweather Promotions, then they will ask him to do it. Right. So that, I think, so that would be if you really wanted to interview him, that would be a way to yeah interview. Um, have you got any opponent um on the on the cards for? Um, I'm told, told but, um, um, I, I've, I've been given a few names. I'm just, just waiting, um, for them to, um, finalize the fight. Yeah. Basically, you know, because each is boxing on Friday, so each, you know, so, like, right now, so, so next week it'll probably be announced who I'm going to fight. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so, um, so, yeah. So there's so much because of this show on the Friday. I'm just waiting for them to deal with that, and then uh-huh. my, my card will be the next, the next. Yeah. One, you know. So um, yeah. So I've been working hard. It's my first training camp I've had back home since 2012. So it's um, it's been good to be back home. It's been good to um, spar you know the English fighters again because I haven't sparred with none in years. Yeah. And um, so yeah, it's, it's it's been it's been a, a good camp. I had a great camp for Adrian. He just um on the fight night, I could I couldn't or I didn't produce what what I was doing in the gym and what yeah. I was you know I was at the best of days. So you know it happens, you know, and um you just have to roll with it and um you know just move on to the next one. <laughs> and did you manage to catch the big fight on Saturday night? Oh, uh, with Kel. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I watched that. I did watch that, fine. Do you think that, um, that the, the, obviously the correct decision was to throw the towel in? I've seen a lot of people criticising um, Bob Ingle yeah. for doing that. Um, yeah. Do you think that, I know a few people have said that Kel might not be this, the same fighter as he was before. Um, do you think that his career lies at like middleweight? Um, well, I don't think he took a lot of punishment. I don't think he did. He took some good, good shots, but um, I think Kel would be. I think it would be a good, good experience for him. Like after this fight, whoever he goes in the ring with is not going to be as dangerous as um Golovkin. Yeah. So um, you know, Kel can he can fight. He, he shows he can fight. He can he can fight. He can box. You know, um, so he's, he's a very good fighter, very good fighter. So, um, you know, I think he, I think he can go on and do the things, but, but again, world weight's a good division, like middleweight's a good division as well. So, um, whichever division you're gonna be in, it's, um, yeah, I think he's a good time for boxing, cause, um, you got uh, the Charlo brothers there, if he was to fight, like one of those, like those guys who's given a very tough fight. Um, you've got Julian Williams as well. He's going to fight the Charlo very, very soon. So, um, mm-hmm. it's a, it, you know, it's a, I think they don't have, the light middleweight division, it doesn't have the big names that the world weight division has, yeah. but it's got, it's got some very good young unboxers that are in it. So I think, uh-huh. um, I think yeah, he, he can do something there, but you know he's gonna have some hard fights. Again, it's a shame that he didn't get the big fights in Waterway. You know he had uh-huh. a great fight with Sean Porter, and it's a shame he couldn't get Furman, he couldn't get Vargas, and he couldn't get um Danny Garcia. So yeah. you know it's missed opportunity. Yeah. Uh-huh. And finally, actually, have you any special message you'd like to give to anybody? Um. Well, you know I was. You know, it's been great to be back home in London. You know, um, the the um, support from the public has is, is been great. If I'm walking down the street, if I'm going like running, you know, um, you know, I've, I've got a lot of love in um, like London. So um, I appreciate just thank you to thank you to you know my Londoners and UK for um for um support. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Um, it's been a pleasure to speak to you, actually. Thank you very much for that, mate. Nah, that's all right, my man. Give me a good write-up now. I've given you some good stuff, some positive words. You want to see a good interview now. Good well, mate, I'll, 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 I'll post this up on YouTube and I'll tag you uh, on, the, on Twitter on it. 
Okay, that's cool, my man. All right. Okay, have a nice day.